Hello to everyone. My name is Carlos. I would like to thank the organizers for inviting me to this interesting event. Today, I will discuss some of my latest results of the research I'm developing with my colleague Ana Arboleda concerning the color distribution of fresh and ripe fruit, more precisely of tropical fruit. Here at the bottom, you can see images of a tropical fruit. Do you know what, it, what is the name? In Colombia, we call it Lulo, Solanum Quitoense. This picture shows a variety of tropical fruits from my local fresh market. When you go shopping, normally you use all your senses to decide about the quality of the product you want to buy, especially for fruits or fresh produce. This quality assessment is a multimodal estimation. We see, we touch, we smell, we hear and even taste when it's possible to inform our decision to buy or not to buy. Therefore, acceptance depends on sensory evaluation of the quality of the product. Here, I will focus only on the visual quality of the fruit. So, what is visual quality and how humans perceive it? Quality may refer to different characteristics. For example, it may refer to health. So, for example, no visible diseases or manipulation for example, lack of bruises, or shape and size. For example, here we see a type of grading for strawberries. Among those, I am interested in defining ripeness and freshness. Both concepts are high dimensional and subjective, and both try to assess the condition of the product using the human visual perception. However, both terms are used ambiguously and interchangeably. Here, we first define freshness and ripeness to contribute to the understanding of quality in fruits, and we consider that although they are com complementary, freshness and ripeness are different concepts that contribute to the overall idea of quality. Let's talk first about freshness. Usually, freshness e is used to express the perception of an overall degree of quality of a fruit according to its expected aging process. That is, freshness involves the notion of time. Therefore, if we draw a graph of visual freshness perception here on the vertical axis and time on the horizontal axis, we should see a decreasing relation between those variables. High freshness will be associated to the early stages of the fruit and low freshness will be associated with the end of the life cycle. Now for the visual ripeness perception, if we draw the same graph as before but with ripeness perception versus time, we should see that there is a window of time when the degradation of the fruit reveals the most desirable characteristics for consumption. Moreover, visible detectable changes during the process are, for example, loss of water, decreasing weight and size. All those things are due to the loss of lipids. Also, consumers can detect change in color due to the loss of chlorophyll, which is related with the green color. Also, the development of car carotenoids, which are yellow and orange colors, and anthocyanin which are the fruit-specific colors of red, blue, and purple. So ripeness is defined from a consumer point of view. High ripeness occurs when the fruit is at its optimum condition for consumption, when it appears to have the best taste and nutritional value. Now that we have the definition of freshness and ripeness perception, the aim of our study is to characterize the relation with the color distribution of tropical fruits. To do this, we took pictures of four tropical fruits. The avocado, the selected variety was Lorena Papelillo. The banana, we selected the Cavendish Valery variety. The guava, called also Cintium guayaba. 
and the last one, the Lulu or Solanum Ketoense, all at five different degradation stages. Then we presented the stimuli to 240 university students. For the evaluation of the freshness and ripeness, we use a two alternative force choice method. So a pair of images with different degradation stages were displayed and ripeness perception was assessed using the question, which one is ready for consumption, as here. Similarly, for freshness perception, subjects were asked, which one is older? We randomized the order of the presentation of each pair of images. In total, each participant answered a total of 80 questions, 10 image pairs, by four different fruits, by two quality perceptions. They took an average of 10 minutes to respond. Here is another example, which one is older? And the same one for ripeness, that is which one is ready for consumption. Here, there are the results for the avocado. Freshness perception is the blue line and ripeness is the orange line. The horizontal axis represents the five stages of degradation, while the vertical axis shows the number of times that subjects selected the image uh, as the selection in the respective quality assessment. The continuous decreasing tendency here at the freshness perception indicates that the subjects were able to assess and discriminate freshness by using only the presented visual cues. Also, the ripeness perception followed the expected tendency which validates our selection of a stimuli. This table shows the global statistics of the stimuli images in CLAB color space. Results reveal that the freshness perception here at the right side of the table uh, were highly correlated for the luminance variance and the mean of the A channel. On the other hand, the ripeness perception was highly correlated with the mean of the luminance and the mean of the B channel. Here we see the results for the guava. Very similar to the avocado, the freshness was correctly perceived here by seeing the decrease, uh, decreasing relationship and the high ripeness was also identified in the middle section of the stimuli. When we see the table uh, for the statistical values, the freshness perception was negatively correlated with the average of the A channel. So for example, the greener the guava, the fresher it looked. And for the ripeness perception, the, both the mean and the standard deviation were highly correlated with uh, the ripeness. Now for the Lulo, we can see that the stimuli selected also also convenient for the freshness experiment because we can see the decreasing relation and also the higher uh, ripeness was uh, selected correctly despite being uh, chosen at the fourth stage of the degradation. When seeing the table of the statistics, we can see that the, for the LULO, the freshness perception was highly correlated with the statistics of the A channel. And uh, for the ripeness perception, it was correlated with the variance, with the standard deviation of the luminance. Finally, the banana, we see that the freshness is uh, easily assessed by participants. We can see here uh, the um, decreasing relationship in, in freshness and also the ripeness was identified. However, you may see here that we may uh, have uh, a little problem here because we might need uh, further data in the overripe section of the banana. It seems incomplete uh, here. 
the ripeness perception indeed uh, uh, here uh, revealed in the table of statistics that there was no correlation high strong correlation with uh, neither of the um, color channels or the luminance channels in the CLAP color space. However, for the freshness perception, there was high correlation for the mean of the A channel, the variance of the luminance channel, and the variance of the B channel. As a conclusion, we propose to differentiate two concepts that influence the purchase intention of a fruit, which are freshness, which we relate to aging degradation, and ripeness, which is associated with consumption. Also, a statistical image values in the CLAB color space reveal a strong correlation with consumer perception of freshness and ripeness. For freshness, a negative strong correlation was seen for two of the fruits. For the luminous variance, uh, for the avocado and the banana, that we can relate to a spot detection. And for all the fruits in the study with the A channel that ca we can associate with loss of green color. For the ripeness perception, we see a strong posit positive correlation with the B channel showing a relation between the yellow color and a higher ripeness perception. This was present in all uh, three uh, fruits except for the banana. However, there was, there was no general correlation present for all fruits. Finally, these are future directions for our research. First, we will perform advanced statistical and image analysis. Also, we are planning to create artificial stimuli to test causality instead of simply relying on correlation. And finally, we are also interested in performing cross-cultural experiments to take into account cultural differences, neophobia, and experience. Thank you very much for your attention. I invite you to write to me for any questions, suggestions, or possible collaborations. Thank you. Bye.